for about maybe an hour. It depends how well it goes. Sometimes it interrupts and sometimes it goes for longer than an hour. Uh, we have commitment from the car. And as I said, uh, you know, you can start looking to her as a high official in the colonies with the personality of uh, Worf, the Klingon of uh, Star Trek, and then you adjust a little bit. She is supposed <laughs> to be nine feet tall, so she's she's you know, assume that everything is real. She is nine feet tall, and she is in a fourth dimension. And I think she's talking for, to us from. She comes to third dimension, and she seems to be on the orbit uh, on the ship which has. I think last time it, is, it had around 200 aliens there. All right, um, it takes a uh, few minutes for Jim to, to get uh, the cat through. And uh, I have you on the screen in certain order. So I will invite you, she probably will do, give some introduction. And then I'll invite you in order and I'll say who is talking next. And uh, for those who are typing, uh, we'll have, um, I, I will voice them. Or Edmund, do, do you want to voice them? How? I don't know how to get the typing because right. it's such an icon box. Well, let's practice next time. Uh, I will voice them. Uh, what else? Uh, we'll give some everyone about three minutes or longer, depending on how the conversation goes. If it goes very interesting, we'll, we'll keep it longer. So if you have multiple questions, maybe you'll have a chance to ask many questions. And don't be... Uh, don't be shy to, to ask extra questions as they come to your mind. But also don't interrupt. Sometimes if I don't interrupt, whatever she says is more interesting than what I wanted to ask. But, you know, keeping notes on, on the paper helps to, uh, helps to remember what questions you have. So by, when, when you ask, you kind of have notes, you know, what you really wanted to ask. And you'll have that too. All right, uh, and my question is, um, they're working on weather and earth axis, so if uh, there will be a chance, I will ask that question. What is the status of that project and who is involved? All right. <coughs> Anybody wants to say anything while Jim is uh, preparing? Does it, do you have any anything to say before while Jim is meditating to prepare the, the channel to go through? Is here. Is it possible to visit the spaceship? Say again? Oh, I understand your question. Uh, Dave mm -hmm. asked if it's possible to visit the spaceship. That's everybody's question. Uh, number one, question number one. We want to go. One moment. Yes. I'm still talking to them. Uh, you, you can take your time. Yeah, Pamela, what do you want to say? Um, is Sakaak saying that Sekhmet and Bastet from the Egyptian mythology, the lying goddess, is she the same entity? Uh, we'll get to that. That's a question to her, not to me. Okay. I just thought that you had something which you can speak to everybody. Greetings. Greetings. Take care. Welcome to this to the webinar. We have uh, all these people. Five, nine people joined. Everybody can hear, but we can see only f five faces uh, on video, and these faces are, and these three, actually, eight people, and these three faces are. We cannot see their videos. Very well. Go ahead. Do not be afraid. Some are. But I am not hostile. I just sound that way. I must give you some update before we start. There are three colonies. We are working on the fourth. But the three colonies consist of the first 39 occupants. Six of which are telepathic humans that we have trained, brought up from the earth, and have noticed their abilities. 
we worked with them until they were able to communicate with us. Telepathy is very important because without it we cannot understand you fully. We do not understand your emotions, your communications with your arms and hands, your facial expressions, your body language. It means nothing without the telepathic connection. Does that make sense to you? We can learn much more when we connect directly to you. And this we have learned so much from the humans that are telepathic. The first colony has 39 occupants. 22 are women. 8 are children, 9 are men. The second colony is a communications colony. There are seven aliens and five humans. This colony is doing work with video that we can preempt our arrivals by showing Earth what a contact might look like or what to expect during a contact. We have not been successful with all of our video taping at this time, but soon we will have something on your online presentations to show you. Colony 3 is what we call the 50-50 colony. There are eight humans and eight off-world species. We have four off-world species that are telepathic and four that are not. We've given each side equipment to learn to communicate with each other. And after several weeks, there is bonds between them. Now, the trust level in that colony is the lowest. But, as they get to understand each other verbally and learn how to use the communication equipment. Their trust levels have moved from 22% on the human side to about 65%. And on the alien side, from 8% to about 51%. The reason for the alien side being lower on the trust level is telepathy related. If you can understand that. They do not trust what they cannot feel within themselves. Does that make sense to you? Does it All make right. sense to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I will entertain questions. All right, we have the order. Um, uh, let's start. Who wants to go first? And then I'll go from that person. Raise your hand. All right, let's start with Pamela. You are most uh, open. Pamela, are you ready to... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, um, I have my Lunarian crystal headband on to aid in telepathic communication. So yes. I was wondering if you know you would be able to do that, communicate with me that way. and. Second question is, why would somebody of high intelligence be interested in us? Let's do one question at a time. You, you, okay. Your first question about the crystal headset. Not necessary for channeling, but it is helpful for stimulation of the brain. I will tell you that certain circumstances must be acquired for channeling to be achieved. Having known that your mind is open for this, we will investigate to see if you are able to channel us at this time. What was your second question? Um, why would the highly intelligent extraterrestrials be interested in us? We're not that high intelligence yet. We're working on it. Very interesting question because it is our reasoning to be here because you as a species are at the beginning of your next evolutionary jump. 
it is just starting, but it is necessary for you to take this jump in what appears to be a small period of time. Therefore, many species are interested in investigating your human life form and how it works. The other thing is, we must maintain your safety. Many things are happening on your planet that are causing problems on your weather fronts and your axis release. Your axis is probably 3.1% off axis. I don't know how other to say that. All right. This, every so many hundred thousand of your years, the earth flips over. Are you aware of that? Yeah. You are in the midst of that at this time, but we are stopping it. The reason why we are stopping it is because no other civilization on your planet has ever been closer to joining the galaxy. We would honor that presence. So there are many species working for your good. But there are some that are working against you as well. But yes, that is w the reason we are very interested in Earth. You are a learning species. Just one moment. We are able to learn from you, as well as help you move forward. Does that answer your question? Breathe better. Uh, so Ed will, will be next. After Ed will be Michael and Jane. Uh, Ed, uh, I think now is good. You can start. My first question is, I need to, if anything, to be able to participate in the colony. What must I change? Can you repeat it? Your sound is not good. I believe uh, he's asking if he can participate in the colonies. What do I need to do? I understand. I can read his lips. All right. He is asking what he has to do to become yes. part of the colony. Yes. This is not something that you can actually do. There are certain physiological things that you must pass before you can join the colony. The trip to the colony can be trying on some humans. Your attitude is wonderful toward it, and that we will investigate as well. But as far as you being able to just agree to go and then having be taken, there are other things to consider, but I will pass on your interest. Did you sign mm -hmm. up? Yes. I believe that yes, that is true. You have an appointed visitation. Wow. Does that answer your question? Yes. My, please, my second just a question. Please breathe, breathe better. You are out of oxygen. Go ahead. My second question is, I have had run-ins with U.S. military and alien allies. Is there anything humans can do to throw the aliens off world? Is there anything you can do to do what? I'm sorry. Get rid of the aliens in alliance with our government. I've had run-ins with Oh, them. yes. It is galactic policy. We do not interfere with other races except to stop them from doing harm. This way, we cannot stop them before they start, but if they start doing harm, 
we can stop it. The question was what humans can do to get bad aliens from human governments. We, uh, I understand. Be part of the Ascension. The Ascension is to knit yourselves together with the light that you feel in your being. The light that is good and uplifting and joy and happiness. You have to lift each other up. Knit each other together. Right now there has been a great release of fourth dimensional energy because there was a section in the planetary evolvement that released some fourth dimensional energy into your atmosphere and higher dimensional people will be able to pick up on that and use it for a greater good. But as far as us starting a war with another species that is not permitted. But yes you can actually become more aware of their involvement and raise your vibrations to help your fellow man become part of the ascension so that it can take them out of power. Does take, that make sense to you? Take your time to breathe. Thank you. Momentarily. I am okay. All right. Michael? Okay. My question is simple. Uh, is it possible to set up an instant connection when, with one of your uh, one, one of you to daily communicate and work together like a team? I mean, uh, communication through emails and or uh, holograms? Um, this has been entertained many times. MIC, are you aware of who they are? A military industrial complex? They have much yeah. control over a little bit of everything, including every communication on Earth is being monitored by them. Whether you like it or not, you are being monitored daily. If they find alien interaction, they pursue. We have learned that they do not want contact at all. They want to maintain their power and their stability on Earth. They have their finger, so to speak, in every element of the world. You would think that that would be impossible, but they tell people it is for the good of the Earth, and people will be involved if they believe that they're saving their planet. Do you understand? Yes. Now, Holographic work is in process. It is possible, but they can still detect that. We are working on a way so that it cannot be detected. You will be visited. Those of you that will, that are understanding and are of the light and moving higher in your vibrations will be visited. I cannot tell you exactly when. But you will know. You will know. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Jane? Yeah. Um, I guess one of the questions that the aliens asked was how they could help us. And um, my guess my question is, uh, compared to humans, us humans, um, what are their capabilities that they see that they can do? Other, I know that they're preventing nuclear attacks and you know working with the atmosphere, etc. But um, I wondered if there's anything else that could be said about that. Yes, we also have taken the liberty to filter some of your atmospheric contamination. Um, it is affecting trees and animals all over your planet, as well as earth, earthlings. You see, trees are being most affected right now because they grow and live at a slower pace. 
and if something interferes with their space that is harmful, they have to adjust, and it takes longer periods of time for slow-moving trees to adjust to chemicals and contaminants in the air. That's why you see many trees dying these days. Have you noticed? There has been a great number of trees that are dying because they cannot quick enough adjust to the contaminants in the earth and the air. Now, we are also helping with seismic work. There are areas of the world where seismic activity could have caused five times the damage that is already caused. And you think they were large earthquakes and volcanoes, they could have been worse. They are actually helping tilt the axis. The movement from these colossal seismic events move the axis and we are keeping it in place where it is now. We cannot move it back, but we can keep it in place. Is there any other part of that question that I did not address? Um, well, I, um, I get the feeling from your expression there is. Um, how, pertaining to us working with them, um, what are their abilities that we could harness, um, like in the colonies and coming back to Earth, if they shoot meteor? We are not allowed to directly interact with you as of yet. The period of secrecy is being lifted, and we are allowed to talk more. But there are still many things we are not permitted to do. We are allowed to help you maintain your planet's stability, and we are allowed to help you keep life intact on your planet, but we are not allowed to directly interfere with things that your government are doing. That is not part of our agenda. We can, as I have told others, help you learn how to become more spiritual beings, which will help your evolution come quickly or quicker. But we cannot interfere with your lifestyles and your lifespans and your political, political agendas. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yes. Thank you. That's much clearer. Yes. All right. I'll let, I'll let me... Um, the next would be Faye. He is participating by typing. So he has already three questions. First, uh, you mentioned that uh, no, uh, humans uh, became telepaths. So he asked, Does, uh, do you mean that the humans were trained from non-telepathic to become telepathic? Not exactly. We selected humans that had greater telepathic ability than others. Then we took them into, with their permission, took them into a colony where we actually learned more about the centers of their telepathic ability, the way they use their telepathic ability, and were able to enhance it. It's not 100%. But there is one human that has reached 90%, but he will not advance any farther because this is the most his body can and brain can handle. All right. Next question is, um, Faye asks, um, and his, his nickname is Enki on the side. Uh, first of all, I want to know uh, what has had happened to my suggestion about the Earth's law. Do they review it already? So have you read his suggestion about Earth's law? No, I have not. Would uh, you give me a summarization? Uh, he's, he can speak, he only types, and the uh, summary is long. But Where can I find this summary? 
on the website uh, under NK he posted it for aliens to read and also I posted my suggestion I will check it humancolony.org now next question by Faye is I am interested about the history of Earth if Earth is the condensed of the galactic history uh, that if the certain geographical continent represents some stars or constellation. If it is so, I want to know if which continent country representing which and which. So which continent or country represent different stars. And that's the last comment was mine. I am not sure I understand the question. Are you asking if continents are re different continents are related to different star patterns? Is that what you're asking? He's typing the answer. I understand his question. He's talking about races and which race came from different stars, but maybe he... he yes, there are different races from different stars, yes. Can you comment on that? I can. Faye, is it what you want to ask? Which races came from which stars? That would be a very involved question, but I will answer it in a generality, if Thank that you. is okay. Thank you. Middle Eastern Indian cultures come from a species from Sirius. Okay. Human life forms come from Pleiadian and Pleiadian like descendants. Mm -hmm. The Nords, which you are acquainted with, are more European and Northern Scandinavian descent. The Orient is somewhat of a mystery to us because there is no one in the species realm that is as close to them as perhaps Liren or Orion. But we are working on solving that mystery, but it's not important to us at this time. Um, when you say, talk, spoke about Nords, uh, is Nords uh, uh, an extraterrestrial race? Yes. Yeah. It's the nickname of your planet to them. They are of Pleiadian descent, but they are now occupying other space. Are they also aliens, or it's a different one? They are also aliens, yes. Aliens, I mean, Aryans. A-R-I-A-N-S. Orions? Yes. They are not Orions. Okay. Does that answer your question well enough for now? I could talk for hours on that particular subject. So, Charles, you would be next. And Dave, you are after Charles. Charles, you are I can't hear you. Your microphone is not working. You might type. You are a hybrid, yes? Interestingly, I don't... Oh, I see now. Okay. So Charles says, I have no question, I think, for the for their presence. Am I a hybrid? Yes. And uh, uh, we just all observed a miracle, uh, a tiny one, but uh, the text didn't appear on my screen, so Jim didn't read the text, and he answered the Charles question just by reading the lips, I guess, or getting the text directly from Charles, yes. bypassing the computer. How did he do it? Through, through lips or through electronics? I read his lips. He read his lips. 
Uh, do you have any more questions, Charles, or comments? That's amazing. All right. Uh, Dave, uh, you're on. disconnected and I could not see your lips. Were you talking about your health? Yeah, we can hear what you said. Can you repeat shortly the same thing in a short way? Was that something about your health? Yes, health. Health. H-E-A-L-T-H. -E Correct. Just repeat your question. Dave is asking about his path as a yes. healer. Yes. You need more connection with the light healers. Your distance from them causes health problems. You need to become part of the net, part of the uplifting net. I see you go to some places, but there's much fear within you. We need to work on that. The fear detracts from the connection. The fear will take you apart, petition you away from a group of light workers. Does that make sense to you? A little bit. Some of the, I think, here stems I was told in a channeling session that I had a contact with Galactic when I was three or something along those lines, and I don't remember in that, but um, that they tried to connect forwards and keep track of things that I was doing. Yes. You so work. Wondering about black because of that experience. How can I trust? You were connected to spiritual guides, correct? Yes. Yes, you were connected to spiritual guides and only one brief contact with an alien. That was it. But your spiritual guides are telling you that you can become. A great healer. Yes. This is true. But you must disconnect from your earthly body in the sense that it, within your mind and body there is much fear, tension, and negative energy. You must disconnect from this to be successful. Because once you realize that you've entered a realm of light, Things will change for you, but you must make it happen. You are earth-bound, but you have telepathic abilities that cannot be awakened until your light has been found. Does that make sense to you? Um, a little bit. I, I'm not sure what to do about that, though, because I understand consciously what that's the what happened. That, that we happen. will send you communications that will help you with this. All right. So the question was what to do with it, and um, Take answered uh, that they will send the communication. So next, come in. Uh, Jacob, are you ready? Jacob Odison. Uh, 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 Go ahead. Can you, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Ye
focusing a lot, uh, a lot on um, improving my uh, vision, like, like the control in my eyes. And uh, I was wondering if you had any comments on, because I've been uh, looking at uh, Google Earth and maps and, and uh, seeing images on Earth. And uh, if, 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 uh, like, uh, if the roads and uh, if, if, if it's, uh, if, if, uh, if it's p people or humans who make mm -hmm. those images, or if they have them, if they have a, a plan for it, or if it's more, of r r maybe not random, but uh, more spiritual, or if, if the images are triggers to open up my mind or your mind or anybody who is, is uh, looking at it. There are many methods in which we use to wake human consciousness to the next level of awareness. Yes, we can use that method as well. Do not be hesitant to dwell upon it. Do you understand? Am I saying the right words? Yes. Mm, uh, I... Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't get the... Perhaps uh, you need to rephrase the question. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, it was a bit long. Um, um, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, I, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. not really concerned uh, about the question. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I didn't really um, have a question ready. Uh, Let me but, ask uh, you something. I, I, really, I really like... Uh, uh, I, I feel the, the, <coughs> the love here. And, uh, I think that's uh, enough for now. <laughs> we do help you in many menial and unsuspecting ways not to interfere with your lifestyle, but we send energies and thoughts and feelings that we understand. We do not understand all your feelings, I must confess. You have a depth of emotion that we have long hope to regain, let us put it that way. And you are teaching oh. us much. So in your emotional path, when we link with your emotional path, we can send images and colors and ideas. And for you, being that you are in tune with many things, are you not? We can send you messages that are of a different level. Please understand that it is out of love and for your concern and for your moving forward in vibration and light. Does that more answer your question? Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it was good. Yeah. I think it was good. Yeah, I, I can explain, but I think it was good. Uh, Jacob was asking about looking at Earth and seeing something, and if it helps. And I think that's what you answered. Well, it's one of the ways to connect. Yes. Let's do... Uh, uh, Justin now. So Justin types, is there any way to consider me to join the colonies? One moment. Go ahead. The colonies are being planned carefully. We want those that would be able to give us the most information, those who would be most intuitive to one another, those that have some telepathic ability so that we can work with them at some level. Because taking you off world is not taken lightly. We understand that you are volunteers and we are amazed at the response. 
there are many who are interested. Some are brave enough to actually volunteer. But this is in the planning stages. We are doing our interviews now, as you would call them, our visitations, our observances. We're observing the path of light that you are on. We're observing your anger levels. We're observing what your triggers are. And we are going to gather a group of people that will be melodious, harmonious, and informative. Does that answer your question? Let me see if we'll share account here. Right. One. Yes. All right, so next question of Justin is, are humans capable of abilities such as telekinesis, teleportation, levitation, and is it possible for classes to take place in the colonies for these abilities? You will be seeing more activity. There is coming a time in the near future where aliens and earthlings will be together on Earth in small groups. This is where that kind of training will take place. You have heard this from other channelers, I am sure. If you are listening daily to different entities speak, you will know that it already has been announced that some species will be joining you on Earth for consultation. Those who cannot travel to the other side to the the ship or the places where we have humans some of you will be visited if we believe that your input is valuable and the other fact is you would not be able to humanly transport to the other side so you have good information for us, we will gather two or three of you together with two or three of our off-world people. Does that answer your question? And yes. we will train. Yes, training will happen. Next question of Justin is, have you read my proposal from email or on the website about internet and internet social media? Have you read this email? There are many emails about such things, about perhaps like a Skype session or something of that nature. Is that what you're talking about? I forwarded you his email to the address of disdue at gmail.com. Okay. One moment. Disdu probably heard that. Yeah. It is under advisement how to use the interworkings of your media. We know that MIC looks at everything, and therefore we're trying to find a way around this kind of interference because their involvement is not welcome. Their involvement is actually to keep Earth away from aliens so that they can continue to have power over the people of the Earth. They believe that aliens will disturb their hierarchy and their power. So we are working to find ways to use the internet or holographic images or vocal expressions in a way that cannot be detected. I am sure you are aware that we do use some space on your t online network for some symbolic communications 
and that's all we can do because only of those of the higher vibrations can know what we are talking about. Do you, does this at all answer your question? Dizdu has not forwarded me yet your communications, but he is aware of your communication. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I would comment that it would be nice if you followed our website. On the website, Faye, I, and Justin already posted several suggestions to you. So I understand that MIC, Military Industrial Complex, is also looking at that, but we are a public group, grassroots group, and we're working openly. So we post for you everything we want to say, we post it online so you can see it. When they discover that we are really transmitting to you, they become involved. They send interference, and we do not want that. So this is why we have to be careful. I understand. Thank you for protection. It's still very important not to lose time, so we are, we are eager to communicate to you what we think is right. We are working on a timely manner. Thank you. Um, so next is... Uh, so everybody, everybody has spoken, right? Uh, now we've started the second cycle. Is it right? Should we do that? I'm not sure what the second cycle... Oh, just start the questions again with Pamela. If you don't mind. I don't have any questions. I'm enjoying listening in. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Dave, would you like to say something? Oh, yes. Oh, did you say me? Yes. Um, yeah. I was um, interested in contact or, or forming the idea of visiting a spaceship or just some kind of training. You will be interviewed. Thank you, Ed. Would you would you would you want to speak? Yeah. Um, do you know which species of extraterrestrials I have been dealing with in my lifetime? You have already been told who they are, but I don't know that Jewish. Human-looking ones as the elders. That's all I know. They are Pleiadian. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> Not their name, but the ones... I was given the name the elders. That's all I knew. They were protecting their identity because of something around you that was energetic. But they are Pleiadian. Yes. Yes, it has to do with my family being involved with the NSA through my father. Yeah. As all around. Yes. That is why I'm smiling. <laughs> That's all I must say. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, Michael, then uh, Faye. All right. Uh, I have a question. Uh, are you aware of the massive incarnation of uh, star souls, like uh, from Pleiadians, uh, Syrian souls? Uh, for example, I was told uh, I was a Syrian star children. Yes. Uh, are you aware of that? I'm aware of hybrid, yes. Yes. I'm aware that there are alien connections to you, yes, I am. I can't tell you exactly what they are right at this second, but if you were already told... I was told by a uh, vibrational healer from uh, a network site. Ah, yes. You have a connection, yes. And you are hybrid, yes. Thank you. Uh, Faye, uh, you own if you like to ask any questions or comment on anything. Was that, that me? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, well... Oh, which, actually, Jane, all right, go ahead. And Faye, you're okay. next. Okay. Um, when should we give up hope that we will be connected? Uh, you know, that the aliens will come and connect with us. Do not give and, up hope. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> there are things. There are things that interfere with our connections to you at times, but do not give up hope. Hope keeps us connected to you. The light keeps us connected to you. When we can reach through to you, we will do so. And we can find you. Do not give up hope. What else were you asking? Um, my other question is, um, I understand that there's a resistance movement. Yes. And they are in connection with aliens. Yes. And I'm wanting to know if this is true, if it's real, or if it's something that we've been given to believe because there's so much disinformation out there. There are aliens that work against you, yes. No, that wasn't really my question, but I'm... <laughs> A resistance group, correct, that are that has alien attachment? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, well, COBRA and the resistance movement that are working apparently for the humans, for us, against, um, I guess, the powers that be. They are misrepresenting us. Yes. MIC is part of that. But they are not a very powerful group at this point because they don't need to be. But in the future, they will become more powerful. We must guard ourselves against them. And yes, they are real. So, the, well, why would we need to regard to guard against them if they're supposedly helping us? They are not. They are supposedly helping you, but the, they are not in connection with a light. They are connection with the earth. They are helping only the earth and not the ascension. Does that answer your question? So the key word was misrepresenting. They are not representing the Gurkhvitnir and positive aliens. They are placeholders Earth. against those. They would like to stay as just in federation with humans only. All right, uh, next is Faye, and after that is Charles. When David is calling uh, and uh, in and he was has problem on internet, uh, I did something right there actually, and his connection became better just after that. I want to know if there is something trying to interrupt just just now, and if what I did just now is working. I was not aware of a problem, uh, uh, but let me check. There are extraneous energies on Earth right now that might be a problem, but they will not interfere with us as we would think they would. Next question is, and um, Jim mentioned about the interruption, and the interruptions are most likely coming from human. Next question is, I had a dream about around September, October 2011, where I said the name Jesus and another one which I can't remember. I was being electrojolted <coughs> in my butt and I screamed to death w w waking up. I want to know uh, what is the name I forgot, what is it and why it had to do with Jesus. I Am I related here? Actually, somebody told me I got past life as a king. Is it real? Past life what? As a king. A king. King. A king. King. Moment. Uh, what appeared... Excuse me. You were... Uh, the connection is weak. Uh, 
There was uh, there was too much interference. Could you please repeat the question? Was uh, did Faye have a past life as a king, as a king, as a royal king? Let me connect. Did they give you a name for this king? Okay, Qin Shi Huang. Qin uh, Shi Huang. Qin Shi Huang. That is correct. This is correct. Next question was, he was, uh, he, two years ago, he, he, he got, uh, in a sleep, he got a jolt, so he got, had a lot of pain, connected Jesus and another name. What was another name? What was the other name that was connected to his... To Jesus. He got Jesus and another name, and he can't remember what was it. He got a pain and a lot of energy influx. <laughs> I do not know. All right. But so, I know what the pain was. Okay. It was a rejection of an implant. You got it? It was a rejection of an implant. But I cannot read your consciousness about the names that were given to you at this time. It's all right. Okay, next is Charles. I can hear you now. Good. Um, I'm wondering if you are aware of Yahweh of the Anunnaki and if your group is in, is, has worked with him. And I'm interested in that. The Anunnaki? Oh. Can you repeat your question? And next is uh, Am I Justin. Am closer? I would have read his lips. Yeah. Justin, you're next. And uh, type in your questions. And Charles, can you repeat again? His name is Yahweh of the Anunnaki. And yes. he said, an extraterrestrial has been living on Earth for thousands of years. And I was wondering if, wondering if, if uh, your group has connections with him. We know of him, but we do not connect with him. He is a isolationist. He is by himself in a distinct place where he can thrive on your planet. He does give messages, and he is not a bad being, but he is not connected with many aliens at all. So his information might be a little old at times. Do you understand? But he does connect occasionally to a friend. But yes, he is a good spirit. Thank you. I just read him yesterday in uh, Shapiro's book. Yes. All right. So now uh, I will read Justin's message. After that, we have uh, I Jacob. Um, I don't have much time left. All right. So Justin and uh, Justin and Jacob, and that's about it. So Justin says. I have sent an application and like know if I uh, have been interviewed in, uh, if I have been interviewed in some way as I have had an experience of such thing but only aware of it for a couple moments. I would like to know if this happened and what happened during this as I have to have no memory of it. So so we discussed with him so he had experience 
a few days ago. Was it Girk Fitnir and was it real? It was Girk Fitnir, definitely. But it was a very short visitation due to climactic problems. They had to be recalled. You will be visited again for a longer period of time. Thank you. And Jacob is the last one. Uh, yeah, um, I maybe just want to you know if you can talk about. But uh, you mentioned that uh, you were learning about the motion from us. Yes. So maybe you can. Uh, if you could uh, maybe give an example of the difference yes. between you and me or. or we. Ethan. There are some emotions that we no longer have any use for, such as guilt and jealousy as two examples. But yet, whenever we are telepathic with some of your human species, we feel those very strongly and did not know what they were called until they were explained to us. Also, your sexual emotions are much greater in intensity at this time, and that being that you're more primal. We do have those feelings. They're just not as intense as yours. This we would like to gain back in the attempt to connect with each other in a more deep manner. Telepathy is a deep connection, but it has its limitations. Do you understand that? We can hide parts of our being away from you or from anyone who wants to be telepathic with us and share that only when we need to or want to. We give you exactly what you need at the time, plus we give you intention. Does that make sense? We give you our intention. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, um, like, because intention and emotion, it comes through in, like, art. Yeah. Maybe, it w <coughs> how is uh, <laughs> art and music and, uh, well, it's art and, uh, well, how... But your you, emotions uh, are... Uh, uh, can you give an example of difference in art here and on other planets, maybe? Yes. You, let's see, there are so many, really. Our heart emotions of love are much more direct. Your love emotions are sensed from outside the being. We can sense love as one purely connected from one chakra to the other, from the head to the toe, from the toe to the head. Does that explain one variable? Mm. I'm maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm? uh, yeah I, I, I don't really. Uh, uh, no, I don't really understand what you're saying. Oh, uh, it was Minister uh, saying He was talking about art, like painting art. Yeah. Oh. Art. Like art and music and. Uh, oh, I like, guess uh, I if, understood. If, uh, if aliens. Uh, well. <clears throat> oh, yes. If other. Art is. Art is most important. Creativity is most important. Being expression, doing expressions of our inner selves is much important. Oh yes. That's our, with our first study with Earth was your art and music, which confused us greatly. But... Oh, okay. Uh, can you... Can you uh, well, why was it confusing? <laughs> Because many of your thoughts are abstract. Mm. And they are cylindrical within your body, and they do not reach out to everyone, but a select few. Whereas our art can capture almost everyone that sees it. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our music as well is very interdimensional. But I'm afraid I'm not answering your question. No, no, you're answering it right. The difference between yours and ours, you did. Yeah, yeah, uh, but there are still the same 12, like, 
notes. I mean... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, are there... Uh, I mean... We uh, have... Uh, you, you sent that... Uh, there's that notes in between heard. notes in between notes. Everything's infinite. Music as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I mean... If I play a piano here, you would still play a piano Can you understand there. our music? Yes. It's simplistic. Oh, yeah, okay. Is our music more simple than yours? Yes. Yeah. I, I thought it was... Uh, interdimensional as well. Yeah. Uh, dimension changes sound as well. But uh, like, could could we listen to something from when you yeah. come to a place where we are? You will be able to hear what we hear. I cannot speak. It is time for me to go. Thank you very much for your webinar. Um, you can say thank you, everybody. Thank you. Or you can... How about that? Can you do that? that is <laughs> not necessary. Thank you very much. <laughs> Blessings and much health to you. And success in what you're doing. Greetings. Greetings. So I think it, it, it went all right. It wasn't interrupted. Uh, everybody has a chance had a chance to ask questions. If you have questions to me, I can answer them now. If you want any answers, I know a lot of answers. And thank you for for joining. It was fun. We did it about about an hour, little a little more than an hour, hour and five minutes. And the, the channel was about an hour. Jane, go ahead. Huh? You wanted to oh. say something? Oh, it was just that, uh, um, you know, I had uh, yogi gurus because uh, I was living in a yoga center for 12 years, and the important number was one and a quarter. Uh -huh. That um, the gurus that the other outs. Uh huh. I understand. Uh, and a quarter years, I mean. Uh -huh. And we use one and a quarter as like a yes. spiritual number. Very interesting. So it's just like, wow. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Any more comments? Jim, do you want to say something? You good? Um, you want some tea? Yeah, I want some tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say. Um, um, I hope that everything went well. Have you, did you hear what was what was been said? I heard some of it. Yes. Sometimes it's clear and sometimes it's not so clear. So, when they borrow phrases from my brain, then mm -hmm. it becomes very clear what they're saying. But if they're if they're talking on their own, I don't hear much but a mumble like listening through a door. Mm -hmm. um, but when they use when they need something a phrase they don't know or something they use my words, then I hear them, so that's all I can really use. Is it, can I, is it possible to have someone who's, I understand that there are people going to the colonies and coming from the colonies constantly, um, would it be possible to have some, one or some of them come and talk? On we, yeah, we were asking about that, and um, at this point, they're on their own if they want to do that. Um, they're not being forced to do it. Um, Are they being asked? They're, they're 
I, uh, I passed my, you know, several times I passed my request to, you know, to ask them to contact me, and so far I haven't been contacted. Uh, uh, at some point, the aliens were scared for their safety, and they kind of discouraged people to, you know, to, to go public, and now they they sort of lifted the discouragement. They, they okay, so if people wanted to contact us, they, they can. They're warned ahead of time what the dangers are. Yes. So if they choose to, they will. I think as, as more people come, it becomes less dangerous because the danger is diluted. I mean, when thousands go up and down, you can't hunt everybody. Well, I don't think it's been thousands yet. <laughs> so far, it was about 119. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? Oh. I think we are good. Thank you very much for your participation. Um, what do you think about future seminars? What's your take on that? Hey. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ed. Mike, I, I really liked to, to meet you face to face. It was great. Uh, and uh, thank you too. Your your comments and questions weren't great, and actually they make uh, made uh, Taka happy. <laughs> she she kind of felt energized when she spoke to you. Everybody oh, too, you. but uh, you were like uh, shining. Really? Am yeah. I? Yes, you were shining. <laughs> uh, Charles. Nice, nice to, to see you face to face. Um, everybody, nice uh, webinar. Thanks much, Jim. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, your uh, your uh, okay. you were okay, and yeah. it was very important. <laughs> All right, goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 Oh.